opportunity again to uh, call the meeting to order. So this is the regular Board of Trustees meeting, President, Board of Trustees, Village of Merriam, Cook County, Illinois. Today is October 22nd, 2024. At this time, I will ask the clerk to call the roll, please. Trustee Cash? Here. Trustee Hodges? Here. Trustee Garcia? Here. Trustee Greer? Here. Trustee Richardson? Here. Trustee Clayton? Here. Well, thank you. We have a quorum present, and Trustee Garcia, could you lead us in the pledge? Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, thank you. <laughs> Are there any approvals or corrections of the minutes of the regular board meeting that was held on October the 8th, 2024? Or are there any corrections to be made if you can mention them now, please? Okay. If there are no corrections to be made, then I will ask for a motion to approve the minutes for October the 8th, 2024. Our motion to approve the minutes for October 8th, 2024. There's a motion on the board by Trustee Hodges to approve the minutes. We need a second, please. Second. Second by Trustee Richardson. We'll clerk take the roll. Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrook? Yes. All right, thank you. Motion passed. Um, well, well, before we open the meeting to the public, mm -hmm. if, if anyone has anything to say to the board or ask any questions, <laughs> then you can do so during that time. Um, after we close the meeting to the public, then it's actually close to the public, so but we want you to, uh, to ask, uh, engage in whatever questions you might have. So um, I will ask for a motion to open the meeting to the public. Make a motion to open the meeting to the public. And the motion on the floor by Trustee Claybrook. Mm -hmm. We have a second, please. I'll second it. And second by Trustee Cap for the call the roll. Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrook? Yes. Okay, motion passed, so the meeting is now open to the public. If anyone has anything to say, please, please, uh, please limit your comments to three minutes, please. Uh, Maria Rosales, um, I just wanted to know why you have not considered putting a budget together to record the meetings for the people to watch at home. Okay, are there any other comments? Yes, yes ma'am. Do I have to stand up? No, you don't have to stand up. <laughs> uh, Josephine Ross, uh, 30 plus years uh, in the village of uh, Burnham. And I'd like to ask the mayor, uh, would we be, well at one time, more than one or two times, we was fortunate enough to get a rebate or a big discount on our water bill. And I was wondering when we'd be able to do that again, number one. And number two, I was wondering if some of the members, uh, residents in the village of Burn, uh, have asked me two or three, would they be able to sign up this year for Christmas or Thanksgiving for a turkey? And thank you for the gift of the discount on the water bill. Okay, are there any other comments from the public? Are there any other comments? I'll ask for a motion to close the meeting to the public. I make a motion to close the meeting to the mm -hmm. public. Yeah. There's a motion to by Trustee Richard to close the meeting to the public. Do we have a second? Second. Okay. Who the play call the roll? Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrook? Yes. yes. Motion passed. Meeting is now closed mm -hmm. to the public. Uh, concerning the, um, the water billing and the water cost expenses, um, there will be uh, some form of uh, payment next year. Um, so um, as far as the village of Burnham go, yeah. and we uh, did not want to uh, do that this time because some people will feel that it's political and, and you know they're trying to get votes and we're actually trying to help the people because some people are really struggling with the bill. So, uh, so, um, so it was for that reason, um, it was not a lot of political reason. But of course, if you're on the outside looking in, then of course you would say that. The other question is, um, 
far as the turkeys go, we will give turkeys out for Thanksgiving, not for Christmas. And, uh, and people will be able to sign up. Did we say November 1st? Okay. But then we'll start the list November the 1st if people want to. Um, what day is that on? November 1st is a Friday. Yeah. And so November the 1st, then they'll be able to sign up for the turkey deal. Yeah. And it's for the needy families who would be uh, uh, blessed by it. So, And we'll give them out until supplies last. We'll only have 200. And so and we'll, and we'll just give them as many people as we can. Okay. Well, thank you. Can I say, can I say one thing, man? Yeah. Uh, and also, if you're looking for resources, for food resources, uh, you, mm -hmm. can, you can see me. Uh, I can give you close food resources. So even with Thornton Township, they actually have a food giveaway every week, and we get you towards that on Christmas. So if you're looking for, we're running low on food resources, please let us know. We can see we get you towards that, you know. But we just did a food giveaway, too, thanks to the mayor here uh, not that long ago mm -hmm. here in Burnham. So anytime yeah. you know somebody who's needy, let us know. And what location would they come to sign up in the village or the community? He's talking about the township, right? For the township? So you like you have to go up there. Oh, you got it's a farm. No, not the township. I say the village of Burnham. Oh, village. Or oh, for the target? Yeah. Well, they will come here and sign up. Okay. Uh, okay, in the uh, mayor report, uh, uh, the county, uh, uh, the county officials out doing soil work today. We had some drains and uh, a couple of, a curve drain was completely clogged. I mean, with dirt and leaves and trash, so they was able to suck those out so the water can flow better. And hopefully that would um, eliminate some of the uh, street flood when we get heavy rains. So um, that will certainly be a step in the right direction. And Trustee Claybrook's public work will be uh, sweeping the streets tomorrow to try to try to help with that. So when it rains, all that trash and stuff doesn't drain down to the soil. Then. And, and the sewer guy was telling me that they did some of the other towns that they worked in. They found all kind of items in the sewer, mm -hmm. or even or even a grocery cart, a bicycle, and bowling balls. Really? Okay. Bowling balls. I think it's the only ball in the river. <laughs> so people put that into the sewer. I assume it's the kids. I don't know, but we haven't had that here as far as I know. And. It's probably going to cause I mean, the street to flood on your basement or something. So we just ask the people to help us to keep the soils clean and the street. Um, the other thing is that um, when we know that this is voting time, voting season, so um, about 15 or 1,600 people have voted at the Cagman City Library, at, I mean, as of 5 o'clock today. And uh, as opposed to about 2020, which was the last election, November 3rd, at this particular time, only 840 people have voted four years ago, and today is almost double that, so 52%. Um, so some of the other towns are doing pretty good, and um, well, Harvey is not doing as well, but, uh, but Markham Courthouse, I mean, a lot of people are voting there. I have not had a chance to uh, check downtown yet, so. So we'll just uh, you know, keep a sight on it so everybody's right to vote. Let's hope everybody get out and do that. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, McClick, Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Following up with Mayor, um, early voting began yesterday, October 21st. Mm -hmm. And for our area, it is located at Calumet City Library through November 4th of 2024. Halloween is October 31st, which is next week, Thursday. Our trick-or-treat hours will be from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. Also, the clerk's office will be closed on Monday, November 11th, in observance of Veterans Day. Public Education, Health, Safety, and Welfare, Trustee Green. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. The discussion of consideration and taking action to approve a nice group contract with Ben uh, Victor Solutions, which is a regulatory compliance company. We are requesting to add the Water Department, Public Works, and Police Department. This is for compliance training for all the remaining departments. Currently, the Brown Department has a contract with Victor Solutions. 
This will assist the compliance with OSHA, ensuring customers can each department own own policies and procedures. The prorated fee of $1,214.27 is due upon signing. The renewal fee of $5,804.20 is due annually on March 31st of this year. We have a line item for each department for either by training or regulatory compliance in this FY appropriate. Once a person completes their training on the site, they get a certificate which can stay in their files and assist in lowering our insurance premium. It's one of the hopes and benefits of having this. Uh, let's proceed before you make a motion to ask to approve. Um, do we know what a, uh, uh, in other words, is there a contract on this and we are we obligated for a certain period of time? So, I mean, I mean, next year we found somebody was cheaper, then would we be able to uh, I mean, drop down and go to the other person? That's all with Steve. Huh? That's all with Steve. Steve. Okay. And do you know who that's true or not? We all know. Um, well, I, I don't believe so. Because once we sign this contract, there's a prorate fee of one signing. And so, we're not, I'm not really sure that. Well, um, I'll find out tomorrow, so we'll go ahead and approve it tonight. If okay. I and uh, uh, if need be, then we could uh, get more information before we actually do sign it and send them the money. So you can go ahead and make the motion. I'd like to make a motion and um, to approve the concept with Vector Collusion, which is a regulatory compliance company. We are requesting to add the Water Department, Public Works, and the Police Department. This is for compliance training for all the remaining departments. Currently, the fire department has a contract with Victor Solution. This will assist in compliance with OSHA, insurance companies, and each department's own policies and procedures. The prorated fee of $1,214.27 is due upon signing. The renewal fee of $5,804.20 is due annually on March 31st of each year. We have a line item for each department for either by training or regulatory compliance in this uh, appropriation. Once a person completes a training on the site, they get a certificate which, is, which will stay in their files and assist in lowering our insurance premium. It's one of the hopes and benefits of having this benefit. Second. I have yeah. a question though. You said that was on contingency after you on that renewal fee. You want to check it on that? Yeah, right, cool. Yeah. So did all this on the contingency on that? Well, I'm going to find out. Um, I mean, even like a contract, a long term, yeah. Yeah. Look, whatever. It's an annual renewal fee of that amount. Now, it increased right. it to this amount because right. now we're adding. Right. But I'm saying that's an annual fee, fee, but I just want to know. It's an annual fee, but I just want to know who do we have to keep it for five years or ten years down or something like that. So you have to keep it on an annual basis. Yeah, I know that, but um, but I thought we did right. Okay. Uh, we're going to do Yeah. Okay. Owen. Oh, Sorry. Sorry. Okay, so you call it. So the trustee really made the motion. Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrook? Yes. Thank you, Motion Pat. Do you have anything else, Trustee Greer? Yes, I do. Okay. Let's go. Next meeting. Although breast cancer much is more it's much more common in women, breast cancer affects men also. Um each, each uh, detection is your best defense. Early detection is your best defense for um, breast cancer. Please check with your health provider if you have an unusual bump or lump that doesn't go away after a few days. As you know, Medicare annual enrollment started 
It starts October the 15th and it ends on December the 7th. If you're seeking a different plan than uh, what you have, now is the time to change. I am a gentleman's program. It's a program designed to empower young men aged 13 to 21 mm -hmm. by, by providing them with necessary skills, guidance, and resources. What's the name of the right. program? I am a gentleman. Mm -hmm. And to ne to ne and it's to navigate the chance and challenge of personal and professional life successfully. It is a good program. Um, it's been started in order for us to get started with this program. We have to have 15 people, 15 young men to sign up for us to start the program. So we're asking if you know of some young man that is interested in this program, please leave their name at the, with the ladies in the office. And as soon as we get 15, we can we can start this program again. Oh, yeah. It is a it's a wonderful program How from what I've read, and uh, and he's even been out here uh, to one of our garage. Yeah. We had our garage sale, and to talk to some people. What's the age? Thirteen to twenty-one. Thirteen to twenty-one. Okay. So again, if you, if you know of someone, please leave their name at the front desk with the ladies in the office. Please we'll, sign. We we'll work on that, Okay. Yeah, gotcha. Please sign up. Uh, we have toy drive. Please sign up to give a little joy to our local children. We're accepting toy donations November the 1st through December the 14th. We are looking for donations of new unwrapped toys for local children in our communities. And so this has been very, very successful. And so we're going to do it again this year. So we're asking for your help. We cannot do it alone. <laughs> Burnham Christmas pop-up shop is December the 7th, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the community center. Vendors is needed. Space is limited. It's an indoor event. And it's a night. They have a lot of um, different Christmas items you can buy. Very inexpensive. December 7th. Pardon? December 7th. Yeah. Yeah. COVID-19. It isn't slowing down. COVID emergency room visits and hospitalizations have all spiked up this summer. Still older adults are both <coughs> remain at risk. Center for Disease Control suggests that you get your vaccination up to date as soon as possible. It is important to pick up after your dog when you're walking because it can be dangerous to people, wildlife, and the environment. Dog, did you know that dog waste contains harmful bacteria, parasites, and viruses that can make people, especially children, very sick? Dog waste can be dangerous to wildlife and other dogs. Dog waste doesn't decompose like a plant matter, and it releases harmful bacteria and nutrients into the environment. Rodents are very attracted to dog waste. When it rains or storms, the, it carries it carries to the nearby storm drain where it reaches out into the river and stream. And that will also carry, um, can contaminate different water systems. So we're asking everyone to be more mindful of that. <coughs> Surveys have indicated that approximately 35 to 50% of pet owners do not pick up after their dogs. I was just looking out the window the other day and there was a huge, huge dog. And they just let their dog just, just poop and just keep going. And often I had to go knock on the window one day and the lady got very indignant with me uh, about that. But did she give it up? That uh, they got to, yes, she did, but she wasn't very happy about it. So, the people are, are doing that. And another thing that is happening too, people are taking their dogs to the park and releasing their dogs. Children, children are in that park. Children are in that park. And never and so this one child that was in the park and the man told the child, just stand still, just stand still. That's dangerous. Yeah, yes. Keep your dog on the leash. Because you never know the children are in the park. Right. Families are in the park. It's very dangerous. 
So again, if you know, they go behind um, the fire station. Pardon? They go behind the fire station also. And really? the dogs use the bathroom. Yeah. And across the street from the fire department. That's true. Well, we have to. Um, I seen a guy going out there, but I never actually saw him actually going on, on, on the other side from the fire department. But mm -hmm. and I went out there and looked out to the left, but I didn't see anything. Okay. So that makes sense. Okay, Trustee Grill, thank you. Um, Maria, I, mean, I forgot to ask you a question. I'm sorry, but you were asking about the, uh, the budgets uh, for, the, uh, uh, for the videotaping or whatever. Um, well, we're getting it free now. Um, so, I don't know if there'd be much reason to pay for it, but getting it for free. Um, so, um, and, uh, and the other thing is that so we'll probably have a turkey giveaway on the 23rd of November, right? 23rd. November 23rd will be the turkey giveaway, and they can start signing up November 1st. What's Thanksgiving? What's the date? The following the 20th. Oh, so we have enough time for them to thaw out. Yeah. Okay. And and also on December the 7th, uh, the day of the tort, um, the trustee grant promoted, we also going to have an electronic date uh, from the county. And uh, so we also be accepting television and, and computers and flat screens and, and all that on the electronic stuff on December the 7th. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, may I just uh, note for uh, uh, Trustee Greer, there's been an outbreak of uh, E. coli in McDonald's. Say over, over, <laughs> over 49 people have caught it. Some people was hospitalized and one person passed, one person died. Mm -hmm. Okay. What, what, what would you say about that? Is that McDonald's on Sibley? Okay. We don't know. Mm -hmm. We know what McDonald's is. It the one on Sibley or no? Uh, not one. No, it's, oh, it's, it's just a national thing. No, uh, it, doesn't, it didn't say where where the McDonald's no. was. Okay. You'll hear it on the news tonight. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you, Trustee Griff, for that report. Most of all, thank you for your information as well. Um, have a work in building. Trustee Griff. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Discussion of, consideration of, and taking action to approve or not approve SMS construction to work on concrete sidewalk repairs throughout the village of Burnham. The cost is not to exceed $25,000. Funds from MFT will cover this cost. So we are doing, um, we are doing some sidewalks in a few areas I mean, all over the community, some here and some there. So. And this will not exceed twenty five thousand dollars, and and like we say all the time, if we don't get you this year, then we'll get you next year. We'll continue. There's some areas that the trees have pushed up the sidewalk, so it wouldn't you know, it wouldn't do much good for us to replace the sidewalk because the tree is going to push it back up again. Right. So we need to have some uh, bigger trees removed, and um, mm. we did. Uh, we have found a contractor who was very very economical, mm -hmm. so. I'm sure we'll be using him going forward. Careful. That is the list for for this year? Yes, correct. This is just one yeah. a few people had asked about it. Uh, a few people had asked about it. I was just wondering. Yeah, they asked about it when they see somebody. No. <laughs> That's it. Okay, correct. Um, let's see if we make a motion. Uh, make a motion now. Uh, I make a motion to approve the SMS construction to work on concrete sidewalk repairs throughout the village of Burma. The cost is not to exceed twenty-five thousand dollars. Funds from MFT will cover this cost. So that was a motion so approved by the trustee Clayton to, um, to approve me. SM construction for the sidewalk work. Could we have a second, please? I'll second it. The second by Trustee Cap. Everybody call the roll. Trustee Cap. Yes. Trustee Hodges. Yes. Trustee Garcia. Yes. Trustee Greer. Yes. Trustee Richardson. Yes. Trustee Claybrook. Yes. I'm motion passed. Thank you. Um, I have one item though. I, I called on the sewer on Burnham Avenue on the golf course side of the street. I called the state one time and they never came and fixed it. I'm surprised. What for the sewer? Yeah, like whenever it rains, it backs up, but the one on each side of it works. And they said something about. It. They asked me one time if they work on either side. I'll have to call them again, yeah. or mark it and call them. Yeah, because every time it rains, it like goes way up in the street. Yeah, I'll have to call it off the market better and call it. on the west side of the street? It's on the golf course side. It has what is the game then? One of those dorm sewers is plugged up in. It always has a big puddle when it rains. Okay. 
Yeah. We talked about that with them before, and they never came by. They was, they was out this morning. We haven't brought them to the east side yet, so um, they was on Saginaw and the Good Bridge this morning. And but that's the county, right? Yeah, county. Burnham Avenue is a state road. They probably won't touch it. In Burnham, so I don't, well, I don't think, think about it. It's one of them once across the street from my house. Okay. They'll probably be back next week. And what, what is the work on that, um, what is it, uh, on Chippewa that they're doing? When is that expected to be completed? Um, I mean, I know we're not doing it, but. Right. Yeah. They, they upgrade the, um, the gas lines and, uh, you know, they're doing a lot of infrastructure underground, you know, whether it's Mike or the West Shore Pipeline and you know, different companies. And they did some on State Street, they done some over there, and they put me. Um, the equipment on top of the ground, the infrastructure, and they're going to put a fence around it. <coughs> and they're also going to put some, uh, they're going to put some Jersey blocks around it, you know, mm -hmm. so people uh, won't be able to crash into it from the street. Mm -hmm. So it's um, just an upgrade. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, they, they can do the work because, um, you know, they probably should be just closing off the, the street, you know, because there's. You know, traffic starts to get a little bit backed up there. Where if they just closed off the street, then we know we can go to the other side, mm -hmm. right? But they're using both sides. Um, yeah, but like when they're doing all the work on that side, then they should close that off. Then we know we have to go to the other side, right? To go around or vice versa. Right? If they're working on this side, then they should probably be closing me. Because sometimes you're like cutting it like really close as you're going, you okay. know, if they're using like one lane. Okay, well, I can bring that to the attention. Okay, thank you. Uh, yeah, we have one more thing. Um, next Monday is uh, October 28th, is the National First Responders Day. Um, the Village of Burnham, Mayor and the Trustees, we uh, plan on providing lunch for all the uh, village, village of Burnham First Responders. Uh, that includes the Public Works Department, Police Department, Fire Department, and uh, EMS. Um, the time, 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. will be good. Yes. And um, also on this uh, American Public Worksheet, if you want to scan the QR code, you can scan the QR code, and then you can go to uh, you can go to resources, and then scroll down to go to, re go to uh, resources and scroll down to uh, Public Works First Responders, and it's a good article you can read about it, and uh, it shows. When uh, the president declared public works as first responders and things like that. Um, that's all I have. What do you do with the lunch fee? Uh, do the shop. Yeah, okay, thank you, Troy, for your work for your information. Um, on the resolution and you know, plan and stuff you guys here. Good evening. Good evening. Um, the only thing I have is, um, you know, we're working, the strip mall is being developed, and the mayor has a little bit, you know, to give more information on that. Yes, uh, I'm sure the many of you have noticed that, uh, that a new building is being constructed at 140 different tons. The starting address will actually be 14520, which does not exist presently. But, um, but that's, where, uh, that's where it is, and so they're working uh, pretty expeditiously. And um, so the store that's now with the trailer and the, and the, and the little uh, shed that's over, they're going to tear that down, and they're going to move that. That bit inside, so that'll be the first business uh, to the east. And uh, eventually, they'll have an ice cream shop in there, um, maybe a Chinese uh, place, and possibly a possibly a bakery. And that land, I mean, that land was in the arrears of taxes and we had to uh, go to court um, to have the lawyers to acquire the taxes so we could get a deed to it. And once we got a deed to it, then we could sell it to a developer. And the first time they put the store there, uh, I mean on the 46 pin, and that was um, and that was 11 pins all together. And it's only one left on the south side, so we we decided to uh, reserve that one so if someone buys that other building, they'll have an extra space there for themselves, you know, for parking or whatever they might want to use it for. So it's just for the, um, um, I mean, the future development. So 
I think that was a good investment for the village and, um, you know, bringing some additional tax dollars to the uh, town and, uh, and that sort of thing. And that's what we do. I mean, we get to promote the village of Burnham and, uh, and they have the people. That's what we do. Right. Thank you. Uh, I thank you, Trustee Garcia. Finance, Trustee Cap. I have nothing at this time. Thank you, Trustee Cap. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, ComEd is giving out uh, rebates for certain uh, Energy Star appliances. You can learn more by going to comed.com slash appliances. So they have different amounts that they're giving <coughs> for different items. You can find that out if you go to that comed.com slash appliances. And also, Tips on controlling your energy bill. Update your contact information so that um, make, sure, make sure your phone number, email, and notification preferences is uh, current so that if comment needs to uh, send out a, an alert, you'll get the information and then you'll know what's going on and how long if there's an outage it will be out. So if you go to comed.com slash update, you can update your information. And they recommend that you adjust your thermostat when no one is home and at night, or consider installing an Energy Star certified smart thermostat. Program it to adjust automatically throughout the day to help reduce energy use. And you can also enroll in budget billing. Mm -hmm. This gives you peace of mind and you'll know what your uh, bill will be every month. And it helps uh, save you money, you know, throughout the year. Because it's <coughs> always the same. So you can visit comed.com slash manage your bill for that. And also we want to thank everyone that came out to the open house for the fire department. It was a success. Everybody had a good time. And um, we had beautiful weather. And we just want to thank everyone who did come out and meet our firefighters and other people. And my last thing is AMFEC Post 43 are looking for new members. So any veterans that are not with them, please consider signing up and joining them. That's it. Question. Did we ever find out why why we have the uh, outage? No, I didn't find it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. the no. Yeah, yeah, right. was, I mean, it was back on. Yeah, it was back on. We were back on in 10 minutes. So I thought maybe they were working on something. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. They're back on. Yeah. Well, they're not going to yeah. tell you if they did it by accident. <laughs> okay, so. Um, no. Mm -hmm. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, we're on the Veteran Memorial Groundbreaking. So we are on our way. We've been uh, working really hard. The Veterans Committee, uh, Trustee Chris, Trustee Rissa, and Trustee John J. Cap Jr., uh, Trustee, uh, Trustee Travis Clay, with all the trustees and the mayor, we've been working really hard uh, to, for, to raise money for um, for the uh, memorial groundbreaking, and we are halfway there. So this year, yeah. Um, so this year we're going to do our groundbreaking. So hopefully we'll be able to start building on it next year for our veterans memorial. For our veterans memorial, um, it's really important to us because all the other suburbs have veterans memorial, and we want to honor the people of Burnham. We honor not just only the veterans, but also the people who have walked Burnham throughout the years. And we want to let their names have something where their names can be there when we're gone, long gone. So that memorial groundbreaking will be November 16th 
at, uh, at 1 o'clock. November 16th at 1 o'clock will be our groundbreaking. And we're still raising funds, so if you're interested in that, please call Village Hall. We need more information about that. Okay? Also, we got 100 houses. This is uh, the time of year where uh, we got 100 houses and trick or treatings going on around the south suburbs. Uh, Kaiman Memorial Park District, they have 100 houses. Um, the times they got left is the 25th through the 26th. Um, we have, yeah, 25th to 26th, and that's from 6 o'clock to 10 o'clock. That'll be at Finneran Park, 1400 Lincoln. Um, that's theirs, but that's $15 admission. But that's really to support the County yeah. Memorial Park District. That's so nice. All right. Um, Burnham School, we're doing a trunk or treat. So if you want to support their trunk or treat, that'll be Friday, October 25th at 5 o'clock. Um, and we'll support their trunk or treat. Now, we're doing trick or treat free here at the Village Hall on Halloween night, on Thursday, as um, our clerk talked about, from 3 to 7. No. Um, this, this 5 to 7. 5 to 7. Right. 5 to 7. We'll, we'll be here from 5 to 7, giving out free candy. So you want to come by, free candy, 5 to 7. We'll be here at Village Hall. I also, I am so sorry. You said 3 to 7? <laughs> three to seven. Either way, Jeff will be here. So I just will be here at three o'clock. Because I know the reason why I like the three o'clock hour is because some parents don't want to be out because the, the sun goes exactly. down. So I will be here with your candy at three o'clock, ready to give out. I'm so excited to you just candy. candy. Yeah, and the candy here will be safe. <laughs> safe candy. We have candy bags here. Also, if you leave here, no pizza. No pizza. Pizza is a bag. Pizza and candy. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't you gotta wrap it up. Oh um, but also, we'll be doing trunk, trunk or treat. Cayman Park, Memorial, Memorial Park just will be doing trunk or treat. Um, that'll be free too. Uh, so you can leave us as, at five and go up to Cayman Memorial Park District. That's at Sandwich Community Center. That'll be from five yeah. to seven. And so that'll be free too. Okay. And. Um, Who's going to be at your house passing out candy if you're here? Well, Trusty House is going to have to work it out. So, I'm going to try my best. I do, have, I do have a bucket for the kids. I'll trust the kids. Yeah, they got my bucket match. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. But last year, I did have a, I trust you, I did have a, a big old thing of candy in front of my house. And the kids did really good for the first two hours. And that, that last hour, they got to trust my candy. You know, that might have been me. We got some pretty good kids in Burnham. So I trust them. They did a really good job for at least that first two hours. Um, so that's what's all going on. Um, yeah. And this 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 Friday I'll be going. Uh, oh, uh, two two things. I want to thank Bria. We did. We had a really great time over there. Um, we were volunteering over there this Friday. We do that once a month over there. Bria with the mayor. He came by this time. Trustee Richardson, Trustee Greer. We had a really good time uh, working with the good Bria, people at Bria. We played a really fun game of. Pokino. 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 It was really fun. So we'll be back there next month. Also, I'll be going with the, uh, we're working on a mentorship program over at Burnham School. So this Friday, I'll be going with them to Springfield um, with the eighth grade class. So you know, so, you know, hopefully we have a good trip at there in the back. If you're interested in being part of the mentor program, working with Superintendent Geraci over at Burnham School. It's going to be the Burnham Brotherhood. Give me, I'll give you more information. Just talk to me, Trustee Hodges. Thank you, Mayor. Yeah, thank you, Trustee Hardy, for that report and your information. Um, then the presentation of the petitions, then the communication from the board on best month of the um, And Officer Coos had um, come into my office yesterday to inform me um, it did not happen in the village of Barnum. It was just very close to the village of Barnum. So one of the uh, domino drivers was driving down Brainerd Avenue around 135th or somewhere over there, and, and he ran into an old lady, Ooh, and, awesome. uh, and, it was, and it was a fatality. Oh, so, wow. um, so again, we just asked the people, he would just slow down. And that slow down, you know, there are people, there are children, there are kids all over the place, and we just need to be careful so we can kind of protect and look out for one another. Um, Mayor, I wrote the that whole thing up. I was going to talk about it. Ridiculous. Oh, you did? Because I witnessed the car like, no right, right after the no accident. Camera up there. Wow. The car was wrecked, too. So they hit that lady pretty hard. It was, where was it at? It was on Avenue O before you get to the railroad tracks where that bus stop is, where they cross between the bus stop and the senior home. They probably need to put better lights or something there. 
Was it at night? No, it was at like four o'clock, right before four o'clock in the afternoon. But they, uh, but Nick, I was so surprised too that, that later on when I went by Domino's, it didn't close. It was still open. I would have thought the manager might close the place because it's like less than a block from where the accident was. Isn't there a tree right there? Are you going over that? Uh, what could he do with the tree? If you're going over the, the railroad tracks, is that a tree to block you from somebody trying to walk across the street? Is there no. something going there? No, but it's a, they have a but bus stop, you know, one of those enclosures. There's no light, so it could also have been that the person decided to cross right. And you know, we don't know. They ticketed the driver for being distracted, so whatever he was doing. But she died on the way to the hospital, yes, right I at the am. hospital or something. She was 65. Yes, I am. They need to have better she lights or like a yellow light. Or maybe they do, but something. But, yeah. And I saw the car. The, the papers and the news didn't talk about who it was. They said a delivery guy. Or was it was a Domino's. Okay. All right. That's it. All right, thank you. Do we have any unfinished business? Mm -mm. Do we have any new business? It's not our last for a month. Mm -mm. Do we have any new business? It's not our last for a motion to adjourn. Mm -hmm. Do we have a motion to adjourn? A motion on the floor to adjourn. Do we have a second? A second. So we'll probably take it off. Trustee Katz? Yes. Do you have a question? Trustee Madras? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Craig? Yes. And did you have another question? She can speak now. Thank you everyone for coming.